Hello everybody, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play Draw to Life Spongebob Edition. Magical Floating Stone is the first thing we're drawing as we start this off here. Last time we started up a... the... We started off in the... A really annoying cliff level with a ton of annoying wind. And in this part, we're doing a falling stone. Okay, then. I just got lazy with my second one. I drew an arrow going down to signify that that one was the one that goes down. Um, okay, this one goes up. That. This isn't something I drew. I don't remember what that was. I brought SpongeBob with me because I have a feeling that he's going to be the last one that I need for this level. Okay, is there a secret here? Yes, indeed there is. Is this a... No, I don't know why I came down here. Probably thinking about a secret, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, you gotta always jump in every pit, you never know. This game can get pretty freaking crazy with, like, how well stuff can get hidden. And since it's not like the regular Drawn to Life games where either it's incredibly simple to find everything, or you actually need everything, I actually don't mind that about the first Drawn to Life. It takes out the challenge of 100%ing the game, but it's like, at the same time, that game's challenging enough as it is oh an extra life because I really need that and it's in a sketchy spot to get in general whoo I'm surprised I made that jump is there any reason at all for me to do that maybe to come up here I don't know to be honest Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what just happened there. I'd like if that platform could spawn it, respawn anytime soon. I saw him bring a coins back here. What? Wait, what? 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 Oh, never mind. I didn't know this area was just a stairway. I thought there was actually like a spot down below. Anyways, ride this whole damn thing up the whole way. And you get goop. That's kind of the... That was the first guess I was going to say. I was going to say a villager as well, but... I don't know why I keep saying villager. I don't know what game I've been playing lately. I haven't been playing Animal Crossing. I've actually never owned an Animal Crossing game. As weird as that is to admit. I know that was like a big, big game franchise. Okay, then. Oh, this part's stupid. I hate these falling erasers so much. Um. Do, 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 I don't know what beat I just did there. I don't know what I was going for there. I just made some random ass beat up there. At first I was making up a beat and then I was like, um, that one song by the Grateful Dead. I can't call me stupid for forgetting this one, but I forgot that song by the Grateful Dead. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but you know which one I'm talking about, like their main one. Good job. Will you frig off with your... Okay, I'm not even gonna bother pissing. Whoa, 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 where, where are you coming from, buddy? Okay, I didn't want two of you guys attacking me, because... Okay. 
All right. Um. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff in this area. But I don't know that for certain, so I'm just gonna keep going. If I missed any goo, then I'll return after I finish the level to get that. I don't think water hurts this character, the character in this game. I know it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Sweet. Okay, let me actually do this first before I get screwed over here. Alright, get a big log, just like Robert Plant in that one song. Um, okay, uh, can my falling animation take any bit longer than that? Actually, it probably could, so I shouldn't complain. Yeah, okay, so they got the water mechanics in this game right as well. Thank God. Um, I don't think I wanted to... I guess I didn't want to go that way. Where am I seriously going, honestly? I feel like I'm missing way too much stuff. Yeah, because you can take a log over here. Because there's stuff underwater that I saw. And then there's an area up here that I saw as well. This had goop. I imagine the area underwater has stuff as well. There's only one, like, way that you can exit a screen anyway. Nope, nope, damn it. Uh. Wait, what? How did I get the rest of the goop there? I don't even know what just happened. I'll keep going this way. There's gonna be an eraser a bit. No eraser. That really freaking surprises me. Um, yeah, I might head back to the water area and check out what was behind that area. Spring shoes, that's the last damn item I need. I hope I, I hope it was Spongebob that I needed for this level and not Squidward or Patrick. Here's the second villager, which I don't mind getting that out of the way, because I probably would have missed that if I went the other way and just solely the other way. I'm going to head back now because I feel like that's something I should probably get. Okay, this is where that area was. And what was behind there besides health that I see? A lot of dangerous spikes under here, underwater here. Good thing this isn't Mega Man, because... Oh god, this level will be hell. This is a Mega Man game. And I saw a lot of goop back here, I know. Twenty six percent and honestly that's not that bad of a percentage to be going into the final area of this level with. I think there is still another level to this world though. Um I think there's more than I think anyways. I remember there being another level. Unless I'm just thinking of uh the next world's last level anyway, but I don't think I am anyway. Really there's still more to this that's going on here. Get that. Piss off the guard, even though he doesn't know that I just stole his treasure. Another two ways to... This level is so confusing. Seriously. Okay, heading underwater yet again. Almost dying yet again as well. Okay, so from what I learned this way, the on-land stuff seems to be the way to go. The water stuff is not even close to where I need to be going. Good to friggin' know. And, oh! Yeah, I remember this area. And I thought this was in a different level for some reason. I thought this was either in another level in this world, or, like, the last level of the first world, or in the third world for some reason. 
Yeah, I, I like this area for some reason. I remember it being difficult as hell because of a certain gimmick that I don't think is showing up yet. Thankfully, but... Let's just hope I can get everything that I remember. If I can actually even get where I need to be going anyways, that would help a lot. Okay, can I actually do this next part? Seriously. There we go. That's not that bad. Now can I actually make this jump is the next question. There we go. Anything down here? Nope. Well, it looks like I should have been hit by spikes, but honestly, I don't think those were actually spikes. Okay, can I just say something about spikes right now? Because this level sure as hell seems to have a fetish about them. <laughs> really, there's, like, spikes everywhere in this freaking place. I don't, like, I don't really understand the change of art style in this level either. Oh, sweet, feather hat. Okay, after designing all that, and by the way, I freaking love the design I gave this one. This is basically the wing hat. I like this power up a lot. I think it's very helpful. And yeah. Now, I kind of designed it more with like a jetpack idea in mind, but whatever, shut up. I like this item a lot because it lets you float down, which makes some of the platforming in this game, let's just say, a lot freaking easier. And, oh. Crap gunners. I'd like to be able to take at least a few of these guys out, but... You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna... Go in there. Thank God one of those dropped health anyways. Whew. I, know Sp I hope I don't need Spongebob anytime soon anyways. Oh, crap. Um... How far away was that? That's the my next question. Pretty damn far, considering I just made it back down here again. Cutting away. Okay, oh. Damn it. I really just died there. Oh well, no big deal. <sighs> it's not like dying in this game has too much consequence anyways. Checkpoints are plentiful. Um, there's a lot of treasure here, but at the same time... Time that keeps on slipping into the future. at these walls here for some reason. And I guess if you keep doing that, then... Yeah, nothing would happen if you got to this point. Thank God, and actually good power-up. I don't need a protector helmet right now. But I will say a protection helmet might have helped from some of these spikes. And I have a good feeling I've missed the last person by now. Oh, uh, maybe not, actually. I saw an area off to that side there, and to be honest, I haven't seen any real branching paths in this area either. I can't stand there, though. That's the problem. I need the ability to glide. Yeah, I can't make that jump without the glider hat, though. So, let me just keep killing this thing until I can possibly get that. I'll be right back once I actually get that damn power-up. Oh, 
Okay, sweet. That actually did not take me nearly as long as I thought it would have. I don't want to die now that I have it, mind you, but whatever. Because, yeah, with this, I can actually get over here. And, yep, I was right. Last guy here. Thank God. Yeah, I'll take spring shoes. Why not? And this should be the last of the goop, too. Mm-hmm. Alright, last rescue kid, and that should be it. Just about it for this level, anyway. I love that, actually, that helps getting through that area. Computer, you can stop with the vibration now. My computer's picking up good vibrations. Na 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 Picking up good vibrations, good vibrations. I didn't do that very good. Alright, and there was no apparent secrets there, apparently. Anyways, I don't know how long that... Well, um, I promised a boss in this episode, and that's what you're gonna get. If this next level even is the boss, I hope it is. Yep, here we go. Pyramid. Hey, Squidward, what's that? Looks like some sort of imitation pyramid. No great work of art, though. Oh, it's big. It's big. Ah, uh, he's over there. It's Studebob. Looks like he's drawing art like you, Squidward. Hey, don't put him in the same league as me. <laughs> what's that? Some sort of rocket and a submarine, too? Whatever it is, we gotta put a top to it. It's times like these when a man finds out what he's made of. Well, go get him, Doodle Pants. Okay, here we go. We have a new power up. Jellyfish net. Draw a big jellyfish net, swat away enemies and projectiles. This is a very, very helpful weapon. Like, legit, this thing is seriously a really freaking good weapon. from though and why do I have a Twitter notification now too anyways text messages uh, bad memories of getting texts during videos in the past anyways let's actually go on to fight the boss of this level this boss is probably one of the tougher ones in the game, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go, Doodle Pants, and apparently I already hit him, um... Yeah, Doodle Pants, if you just keep smoking him after a while, then... You may not think that this guy's that tough, and I actually didn't remember Doodle Pants even being the main boss in this level, I thought it was something else. But every time you hit him... Um, he, uh, drops a net, which I guess is very helpful. <laughs> okay, get back here, Doodle Pants. If you die, it's no big deal, but, yeah, like that. You have to hit him again a dozen times. His bowling ball attacks get annoying as hell. I do like the throwbacks to classic episodes, though. I don't like having crap splatter on my screen and no freaking idea of how to get rid of it. Or him being invincible during his attacks. I'm also not a big fan of that. Or me being able to take damage during his attacks, either. Yeah, this is... 
I didn't remember this being the main fight though, honestly. This, I don't I don't know how I just hit him there, but. Alright, hit him again. And time to attack him. This should be the last time I do this. Alright, he has one HP left. We can just finish him off, right? No, that could just be the end of the fight, huh? That boss was a lot different than I remember it. Honestly, I thought we had to fight Doodle Patrick, not Doodle Spongebob. Whatever, whatever fills the bow to this. I actually, wait, no, I remember when the Doodle Patrick fight is. That's at a different point in the game. I don't even want to talk about that one. That's a lot different. Grab your heart container and let's go. He's getting away after him. We gotta catch him somehow. Why did Squidward have bloodshot eyes? He should be pissed at this. What? What? You two dunces again, you blow it, you. Yeah, that, Squidward should be pissed, not like that. Where could you have gone? He's just here now. He's, that rocket and submarine are gone. Hey, look under all these rocks. No, wait, let's think for a second. He must have gone to the moon or to the deep sea. A witch, I'm not sure. The bottom of the sea? How do you know that, Squidward? The moon makes my skin chap, so we're going to the deep sea, understand? Gotcha, there's lots of rocks under the sea. You're a genius, Squidward. God, Patrick. Uh, anyways, like what I said last time, next time we play this game, we're going to the deep sea. Cliffs of Doom. This level is very difficult. I'm just going to warn you about that. I think that now that we're over halfway through the game, there's a huge difficulty spike in the next parts of the game. I think that I'm going to buy some extra lives because I think I'm going to need them. And let's buy some other stuff that we need here, too. You can buy power-ups here, but you can also buy a lot of pallets here, too. I got, I have the cash. Why not? And I also have... Okay, yeah. Doesn't take very long to buy all the pallets. Trust me on that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of Drawn to Life SpongeBob SquarePants Edition. I'm Master Sermon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.